Okay, hi guys. I'm just gonna show you how I'm stenciling these flowers. We're actually just tracing the outlines. I'm not using a stencil, stencil brush. I'm gonna just trace the outlines of these extra flowers onto this hummingbird rock. All you do is just follow the outline with a pen. It's very easy, but I just wanted to demonstrate how easy it is to get an outline of flowers onto your rock. Um, I've already added some other ones around the sides and the bottom. And I think I'm going to do these in red. I'm just going to color them in with my Sharpie markers. Very simple. Just stay in the lines. And then you can add more color on the outsides. That one seems to be running out of ink. A lot of mine are drying up. I have to get some different ones going. But even though there are no red flowers in the picture that I used, I like to add different colors sometimes. I know hummingbirds like red flowers and are very attracted to them. So that's why I like to sort of add some extras. And as you can notice, I'm just going in between the separate parts of the uh, stencil outline and adding my own outline. And I'm gonna do this one up here. go a little bit outside the line and connect it to make it look more real. You don't have to. I mean, you could just leave the spaces. That's fine too. It's all up to you. Whatever you want to do. You could also use a stencil brush with paints if you know how to stencil. Um, I have a video on that too, but I'm not doing that at the moment. Just wanted to add some extra color because there was a lot of blue and purple in the picture that I used. And I thought some red would stand out really nicely. Anyway, you get the general idea. That's what you do to add some extra flowers. Um, I think I'm going to add some yellow center to the red flowers. And that's it. All right. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a like and a subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.